everybody, what's going on? I'm Frozen with Outdoor Adventures, and thanks for joining me. Today, finally getting around to, guys. It's been a couple months. I should have did this already, but this is gonna be a first look at the Light AF Curve X30L in the X-Pack material. Now, if you've been watching the channel a while, you know I have multiple Curve packs in the Dyneema composite fabric, but I wanted to try a different material on this pack just so I have a talking point about the fabric. Someone actually reached out to me a couple months ago and asked me my thoughts on X-Pack and I couldn't tell them and I hated it. I really wanted to try this material out over the long term, very long term review on this guy. We're talking maybe a couple years here and just wanted to see how the material reacts uh, over constant abuse. I'm not gonna be careful with this pack by any means, and we'll see how it handles over the next couple years. I have had this pack out on seven days of hiking already. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit behind in videos. This work has been really killing me at this point. Uh, but I think we're gonna get back into it finally. Work, work projects are done, and we're gonna hopefully get back into the outdoor adventures, the pleasure side of things, all right? so. This pack is a, a VX07, but it also comes in a VX21 material. 21 being a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker uh, compared to the like the Light F Curve 35, where I think it weighed 12 and a half to 13 ounces. This came in at 14.7 ounces, so a little bit heavier. But I'm supposed to get more abrasion resistance, and it's the pack uh, material itself is supposed to be more durable itself. Uh, it's also waterproof, just like DCF. So we'll test the uh, the waterproofness. Uh, throughout the, the years that I'm gonna use this pack. And I got this pack specifically uh, in mind for three season use, so just spring and fall. Now my multi-day pack from Light AF, I absolutely love, and that will continue to be my summer pack. And then I'll also be using the Curve full suspension pack in the winter. Now I know how Curve packs handle from Light AF, that's why I keep going back to them. They have the most comfortable shoulder straps I have ever seen on a pack and I've worn multiple. I've worn uh, an REI Flash, uh, a Gregory, an Osprey Atmos and Exos, uh, a Duder, which I immediately returned, I couldn't stand them. Uh, but the, the, the shoulder straps and this, this spacer mesh that Light AF uses is some of the most comfortable material I've ever felt in a shoulder strap. And this really makes the pack with me, along with the features like the shoulder strap pockets, which I always get on all the packs just because they hold my phone very well. They hold um, uh, snacks. It's hard to do this one-handed. Um, what else? Uh, the map. Sometimes I put my map in here. And it's it just, it's just, I'm used to this now, right? I don't want to shy away because I finally found something that really, really works and I feel is tailored to the way that I hike. Now, I chose this pack without a hip belt but it does have the option to put a removable one inch webbing on it or the pack wings on it as well, I believe. So that's there. Uh, also standard on this pack, we have the big giant stretchy mesh pocket that I absolutely love. I put my tarp in this thing. I also put my tent in this thing most days, uh, depending on which system I'm bringing, hammock or tent. Um, we got the line tensioners that are standard. I love this little system. Um, you can cut these off if you don't want them, doesn't matter, whatever. And you can also rig up some shock cord in the back with the, uh, the loops on the side that you're already given to put a sit pad back here. Now that shock cord is not included. He will include it if you uh, send him an email to do something custom for him. Um, I chose to just leave it off. I kind of put my sit pad inside right next to my food bag and that works for me. But I might actually try the sit pad on the outside at some point here. The V-strap is completely adjustable, which is, which is something that I really like. And one change from the other Light AF Curve products is Chris is now, the owner, is now starting to sew a loop onto the pack instead of just kind of like a tab. So before it was just like this piece of fabric and I liked, I liked that, I really did. I got used to it. It's a little different than any other pack that I've had as far as the other packs that I've mentioned. But I see that he's starting to standardize uh, this loop, which I don't know how I feel about that right now. Never had a problem with the loop that stands straight up though, but this doesn't bother me uh, too much, but I am literally the most fidgety person in the entire world and anything, like I cut the tags out of my shirt guys, so this probably <laughs> isn't a big deal to everyone. It's just, it's just a, a minor deal to me. But other than that, one other thing that I wanted to show you before this first looks video comes to a close, and like I said, we'll have a long-term review 
on this is the X-Pack VX. So there's X-Pack comes in uh, multiple different flavors, right? You have the X and then you have the VX, okay? So the VX just simply means that the inside of the pack or the, the backing layer uh, is white. It has a white taffeta or taffeta or however you say that material on the back, which shields the waterproof layer. And then you have um, this little X grid on it, which we'll take a look right here. You can see the X's. And then you have the backing material, which is gonna be your color. So this comes in multiple different colors. Um, I chose black. I'm a big proponent of darker packs. I don't know why. I just like darker packs. But what I like about this is inside is white. So you can actually see your items here. You know what I mean? Like anybody that's, that has a dark pack, knows that in the shade or you know if it's getting close to I mean, in the morning or at night, it's hard to see stuff way down in your pack because the material is black inside. But this white is very, very nice. You can see really everything down in there. So I am really excited to kind of beat this pack up and not worry about keeping it nice, which you know I'm always super concerned that I'm going to abraze my Dyneema packs. Never really had an issue but I do take very uh, good care of my gear. With this pack, I'm actually gonna beat the crap out of this. You know, I'm not gonna be careful with it. I really wanna test out this material and see how it goes because this is gonna be a specific review on the material itself rather than the pack. I know Light AF makes good packs. I've have, I have multiple reviews on their packs, uh, but I really wanna test out the material X pack in this backpack. If I was gonna go lighter and be more gentle with the pack, I would obviously go DCF. It's a $15 difference. But if I'm someone that doesn't want to worry about, you know, breaking the pack down, throwing it around, being super careful with it, then, you know, the X pack material is there for you. And that's really what I'm going to try out here. So like I said, that's going to be quite a long time from now. We're talking about a year or maybe even two years on that review. But if you have any questions in the meantime, I'm going to be taking this pack out on three season trips, pretty much anything but summer and winter. So it's going to get a lot of views. So thanks everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.